the world. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others. Know your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. God wanted us to be like Jesus Christ. That was God's ultimate goal. It does not take us to heaven. It does not give us an easy comfort to be alive. It is only to live like Jesus Christ. To illustrate this better, let me say it in this way. It's cool. For football matches, the group decides two captains. Then the captains decide who shall be picked first. The kid with an athletic ability and underwear in winning shall be picked first. The rest of the team picked shall try to win. Who shall be the last kid picked? The last kid picked us. Awkward and coordinated. More often when the kid tries to kick the ball, may fall off and make a big scene. It's funny. No, it's not funny when it happens to us. Am I correct? We all are the last kid in the presence of Jesus Christ. But Jesus raises up his arms and takes us due to the love and affection he shows towards us. And the Gospel of John says that when Jesus is preaching for his last time, he said that, I am going to my Father. My Father will bring the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will continue the work done by me in this earth. The progressive factor due to crucifixion, the give resurrection, due to resurrection, the give ascension, Due to ascension, they give Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit comes only in the mind of great people with great thoughts. Why did Jesus come to this earth? Jesus came to this earth to reveal about the Father in heaven. Now let's check. Why did the Holy Spirit come to this earth? The Holy Spirit came to this earth to reveal about Jesus Christ to his followers. In the epistle of John, says that I am the light of the world. Whoever comes to me shall not fall into darkness. But Jesus repeated correctly to his disciples, saying that I am the light of the world. Whoever comes to me shall not fall into darkness, but shall lead a little life. Now, this was the third time Jesus appeared before his disciples. So he asked a question. Simon Peter. John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, he answered. You know how much I love you. Feed my lambs, Jesus said. Again, he asked the second time. And again, the third time. Now, let me ask all of you gathered in this room a question. Days, weeks, months, and years in this kingdom. What have you done for the Lord? Just think for yourself. What have we done for the Lord? Nothing. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart to feed his lambs. But I would rather say that, Lord, I'm the last kid in the playground. But pick me up, mold me, use me, guide me, and glorify me. You, who are gathered here, listening to my speech, are the light of the world. I pray that the words of this book sink into your mind and glorify to others as Jesus glorified his Father. Be a trailblazer. Thank you.